Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be finishing off the artist studio. It's looking all a little bit too clean and pristine and it doesn't really look like, I mean if it was empty you wouldn't even know it was an artist studio. Today I'm going to be making it look like an artist actually works here. I've got my wet palette here which I've actually just saved all of the paint that I've been using so far. I think I've got quite a myriad of colors that I can choose from. So I've got the table and the bookcase that I actually want to start gluing some of the different accessories onto. So it should be a pretty interesting day. So let's get started. So before I get on to the fun stuff, which is basically flicking all the paint around and really making this look like a real art studio, I want to add in a couple more details. The first one is this uh, cable that I'm putting in. Uh, it's just plastic and I've just roughed up the surface with a bit of sandpaper in order for the super glue to stick, but it's to give the illusion of conduit. So either um, water pipe or electrical pipe or something like that, that's got a couple of uh, strips of cable running down the end. And I've just made this little light switch. It's just a little piece, scrap piece of sort of balsa wood and a little piece of mat board to create the switch and then I'm just using the same cable again just to create the look that it's actually coming down into the switch. And then I'm just going to cover this with a some metallic paint and I've used three different colors. One is a bronze color then I go over it again with a look with a very light touch of gold just to kind of highlight a little bit and then the last coat is some copper which just gives it a lot of different dimension and patina to make it look like real copper pipe. So if you haven't seen one of these before, it's called a wet palette. And the idea behind it is that it is, you can put a layer of paper on top of the uh, cloth there. The cloth is uh, filled with water. And what it does is it just doesn't allow the paint to dry out. So it's designed for miniature painting, which is great, but I've actually used it sort of multi-purpose just to keep all the paint colors that I've been using in all of the canvases that I've been painting wet enough in order so that I can reuse it in the project. I want to add is some organics. So what I want to do here is actually put in sort of uh, fallen leaves or broken leaves just around the outside of the room as if the garage door has been opened up a little bit and there's been um, leaves that are blown in and sort of got caught in along the skirting boards there. So I'm just running a bead of glue all around and this is my leaf mix that I've got and I'm just going to spread that around the corner. I'm not going to go too hard on it. This is will all basically just sort of wash away or brush away I should say. So another detail that I wanted to add was some miniature paint tubes and in order to make these I'm just using a toothpick and it's the decorative toothpick and I'm just painting the very end of it black to uh, imitate the cap of the toothpick and then just using some tin foil. Now you can use tin foil, you can use um, foil tape, anything that um, you like. This is just what I had on hand. Wrap that around and then cut it um, a bit longer than the actual um, toothpick itself 
uh, in order to fold up the end of it to make it look like there's a, it's a tube of paint. Kind of sat down in front of the TV one night and just did them all. Um, I've just got some coloured labels on them to give the illusion that they're all different coloured paint. So this is my canvas that has only been partly finished, so the painter has obviously got a work in progress, which I'm pretty happy with. I've got a glass that's been tipped over and there's water coming out. I actually end up by moving this onto the shelf. And then just some of the little paint pots that I've managed to create. I've kind of duplicated the kit that I got. The kit used some, used some uh, dowels. I've just used uh, some of that smoothie straw that I painted up for the conduit for, or the um, exhaust for the uh, econ unit. follow the same process for the shelf and just by placing some of the different items on the shelf in order to give it the look that it's a well used set of shelves uh, by our lovely painter or our lovely artist. Mm -hmm. Just to add in some additional detail, I'm just using some chalk pastels. These are the ones that I've kind of broken down and popped into some separate containers. So I've got this brown mix which I'm just going to place around the very top of the skirting to give it the look that the leaves have sort of blown in and brushed around on the wall. And then just around any of the pipeworks and especially around the garage door just to add a little bit more shadow. I'm just using a little bit of black just to kind of give it a little bit more of a highlight around there as well as the beams on the ceiling and the aircon unit as well. So with another additional detail actually this was from one of my viewers who recommended this so thank you very much you know who you are and uh, this is a locking mechanism for the door on the inside so I'm just keeping it pretty simple just some little catches on the end and I've got this little bead it's half a wooden bead and I'm just going to cut off each end of it just to kind of square it off or each side I should say um, and then just using a another end of the toothpick I'm just going to try and make it symmetrical and then I'm going to use that as the turning handle on the middle of that bead once it's sort of painted up grey and then I just also paint over it with a bit of silver and that just gives me the look that I'm looking for and then I can start gluing the paintings into place and it is absolutely starting to come together quite nicely. So there's two more paintings that I'm going to create and I'm going to create a landscape in an abstract style with some muted tones of green and it's just going to try and help balance out all of the strong colors in the art studio already it's especially that bright red that's in a couple of the paintings <music> things I really noticed about this particular painting which I really love it's sort of the cityscape type of painting is that it just disappeared into the walls so what I'm going to do is just take some of my coffee stir sticks and just create a really simple frame just in the bare wood around the picture and this actually is just enough to make it pop off the wall without it sort of standing out too much which is not what I wanted at all so I'm really happy with how this is actually coming together. And one final detail that I'm actually going to add in is some sketchbook. Well, 
I really hope that you've liked this video. I've had a lot of fun pulling it together. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite painting. I know I've got a definite favourite. So let's have a look at the final result and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.